After an hour, we reach the well. It's the only water source in the area, so will also be a draw for any local predators. Kasana is satisfied that I can handle a small herd, but that was just the first test. My fluid levels are low, but the priority now is to get water for the cows. I'll have to wait. Whoa. This well has been dug straight into the sand with no supporting structure, and it regularly collapses. These sides are so unstable. Here we go. What's me to say? Oh, out. Yeah. These walls just keep caving in on us. Not sure they did that. Cows need a lot of water, and getting it out of the ground and up to the trough is serious physical work. <laughs> On the final challenge, getting water is going to be a huge task. There will be a much larger herd to deal with, and no permanent wells along the trail. In this arid landscape, using as little water as possible is a key survival strategy. It's embedded in Samburu life. And my host mother shows me how the village women clean their kitchenware without water. You put some of the charcoal in there. They shake it around. This is how they clean their dishes. 